This Modern Warfare 3 video is going to be a little bit of a longer one, but it's separated into chapters, so if you're looking for a certain mission, just look below. This video is going to show you where all of the hidden weapons and field upgrades are. This is Precious Cargo, and the first one is literally when you spawn behind this dump truck, you will see a shadow container, and inside here, there is two weapons inside of the orange boxes. Make sure you pick up the parachute as well, obviously. But there is the first weapon there, which is the WSP Swarm, and the next one is the MTZ-556. That's two out of 21 weapons and field upgrades in this mission, and we can move on directly from here. So from the main shipping container here that we just went in, literally just behind that one, you will see another open container and that has another orange crate in it. This is the recon drone, and that is three out of 21. And then from this container directly, we are going to go towards the actual main Shadow Company ship that you need to go to to one of the objectives. So head to your northwest and your north, and you will see a bunch of cabbages laying on the floor. Just go up the containers to the right side of the cabbages and you'll see on top of the very highest containers you'll see another orange supply box. Inside of here is a Baz B. So from this one we're gonna head to our left and go west underneath this open container. Go through here all the way to the end and you'll see a small orange box. Inside here is the GS Magna, the full auto Desert Eagle. Next up, we're going to be heading from this location back out the way we came and then past the cabbages Check the table. Probably right there. and then we're going to head all the way down and you'll see an actual yellow building just down this main road here. We're going to be going inside of this building After the into the back room and you'll see the orange container. This has the hybrid STB inside here. We're going to be using this building as a base for a few of the crates in the future in this mission. So from here then, we can go ahead and go out the door that we came in, all the way down to the end. You'll see some fuel containers. And then just to the right of that, you will see a medical building. Inside of the medical building is a large orange box. And inside here is the silenced ISO hemlock. And now from this one, we're going to be getting a few weapons in the next building. So go to the Harbour Master's building. You can go in the front or the side doors here, it doesn't really matter. And you're going to want to head up the stairs. And then you're going to want to head up again. And then on this floor, where you actually get the objective, just opposite the objective door, is another large orange crate. Inside here is the RPK. And then outside, into the hallway again, all the way down to the end of the corridor, and then to the left, you will see another large orange crate. And there is the Pure Mot 762. And then finally, back out into the corridor, all the way back to the main stairwell. Check around the desk. Manifest You're going to want to go up the stairs again. Once you're up here, you will find a ladder to the roof. And on top of the roof is our next orange container. On this catwalk here, all the way at the end, there's the orange container. And inside here is the Victor XMR. And that is 10 out of 21. The next one we're going to be doing is from this location, we are going to jump down the back. You can rappel down or just jump down and you'll see this small overhang and it's a small back room on the Harbour Masters building. Just go inside here and you will see another supply box which has a munitions box in it. And now back up on the roof from that weapon box, you're going to want to parachute to the west. And you'll see the actual next weapon box on top of that yellow mechanical building. So you're just going to want to parachute all the way to the end. And then go inside 
because there is a, another supply box in here with a snapshot pulse, so you're going to want to grab that. And then another one inside here as well, which has the 556 Icarus. And then you're going to want to basically go onto this yellow crane just outside to the southeast. This one doesn't move, so it's easier to just rappel up to the top and then parachute on top of the mechanical building to get that crate that we saw from the Harbour Master's rooftop. And there you have the peeler. And that is 13 out of 21. We are certainly getting there for this mission. Next up, you're going to want to head directly to the southwest. And inside of this container yard, you'll see all the wooden containers. Just head round to the left. And you will see at the very back, there is a container open with an orange box in it. So just jump in there and you will be able to grab yourself the silenced Expedite 12. So from this box we're going to want to move into the middle of this shipping container. You'll see there is another container that we can open and inside here is the heartbeat sensor. And then from the hybrid STB556, as I said, we're going to be using this as a base. Just jump out the window and you will see that there is the main ship that we need to go to for the objective. On the main ship there is a good few weapons that we can get from here. So you're going to want to go towards the objective location and go towards the bridge, but before you go inside there, there is a side door to the left hand side. Go inside here and you'll see an orange container which has the Bison 800 in it. We're going to want to make our way up to the bridge now and go in the front door and then the first door to the left has a next orange container in it and this has the RGL 80. Check the table. They're probably right there. And then from here back out the door and in to the main room where the actual objective is. As you can see there's the objective and then there's this side room here with the orange box in it which has the KVD enforcer. Next up we're back at the STB 556. Again you're going to want to jump out of that back window and then you'll see a large crane to the right hand side. You're just going to want to climb up to the top of this crane using the ladder. You'll see a catwalk halfway up this crane and on this catwalk is the next orange box and this has the signal 50 in it. Now from here you're going to want to parachute to the southwest. You'll see another large orange crane. Just parachute on top of the green containers here and there'll be a large open space in the middle which has the next orange container and that is the last one for the first open combat mission that is 21 out of 21 and we can finally move on to the next mission which is reactor. We're now on reactor and there are 29 boxes that we need to find. The first one is if you parachute literally straight down from where you skydive when you enter the mission and you go all the way to A2 on the tack map you'll see this one building with a blocked off door. You're just going to need to shoot that wooden chair to get the door open and then you're going to want to go inside the back door and you'll see the orange container this has the silenced Holger 556 and then from here if you go back out the door and round to the front again you will see a larger two-story building right in front of you and you're going to want to get onto the roof here so there is a sender ropes that you can use just to send up and you'll see on the far side there is another orange container and there you can see the incendiary MCW. From here head to your east parachute all the way down and follow the road and you'll see another similar building and you're going to need to get onto the roof of that one as well. On the left side of the building there is another ascender rope you can use this one to get onto the roof and then on the far side where the next zip line is you will see that there is another container and on that container you will be able to get yourself the sidewinder. 
From here, continue east towards the actual helo objective that you need to destroy. And you'll see a small building. You're going to want to get on the roof of that building. So you can climb up on this dumpster here, onto the overhang, and then get onto the roof. And you'll see that there's a skylight that you can break your way through. And then you can grab yourself the basilisk inside this small container. From the basilisk then, you can make your way out of the door and then out of the back and further towards the actual helicopter. At the base of the helicopter, you will see two orange boxes. First one is just to the right of it and that has the hybrid STB556 in it, which is just here on the map. And then just at the other side of the helicopter in front of the blue and white building, there is the next one which has the peeler in it. Now from the helo, you're just going to want to turn to the southwest. And jump off here. And you'll see the next orange container inside of this small garage. And this has anti-armor rounds inside of it. From the anti-armor rounds then, you're going to want to go out the door up this stair set here and then all the way around to the open area you'll see this truck and on the flatbed of the truck you'll see the next orange container and there is the incendiary MTZ interceptor. From the crate we're then going to want to go up to the top of the reactor so head back towards the helicopter that you were just at and you will see a repel rope for the ascender just ascend up on top of the top here and then you'll see another one closer to the reactor dome and then you can ascend all the way to the top and then you've got your next crate just here on the corner and that has the explosive crossbow in it Bolts. From the crossbow then, we can go and drop down. And then you'll see this door just below this catwalk here. You can go in, it says T5 above it. And this will bring you into this generator room. And then just on the bottom floor here in front of these boxes, you can get the incendiary Bryson 800. And then from here, you'll see the door going into G5. And then just inside of this door is the next supply box with the suppressed Lackman sub. And now you can make your way out of the side door here. And around, you can go up this stair set all the way to the top. And then you can climb the ladder to get onto the roof again. And then just all the way to the other side of the roof here. You'll be able to get this next box. Which has the signal 50 in it. Now from the signal 50 we're just going to drop down towards the next helicopter. parachute all the way to the back of it. You should be able to already see the next two orange containers. They're just at the rear next to each other behind this helicopter. Inside of these two is the Cronin Squall and the Holger 26. And then from here look towards the helicopter, run directly in front of it and you will see a small garage just go inside the garage and then to the left side you'll see another orange container with a Fennec 45 inside of it from the Fennec you go out and to the northwest 
and you'll see a blue and white building here. This door will be closed, so you will need to shoot the chair just through this window here. Just shoot the chair and it will open up for you. And then you just go inside and there is another orange crate with an armor box inside. And then go out the same door that you came in. And then you'll see a ladder at the front of this building to get onto the roof. And you'll see another supply box with a silenced Vel 46. Now from this box, again, keep going northwest into this under construction building. Go up the stairs here. And then to the right side, you'll see this tarpaulin. And underneath it is just under the crane is the next box, which has the munitions box in it. Now head to your west and jump down into the middle of this construction area. And you'll see two more orange boxes. One has the HCR in it. And the next one is the incendiary haymaker. So from this location, we're going to head to our north into this dome building this half-constructed cooling tower up the stairs here and you'll see a small orange container which has a heartbeat sensor inside of it and then just out of this door here you're going to want to go inside and then along the catwalk to the right hand side you'll see the zip line and just next to the zip line is a incendiary is a silenced suppressed ex is a silenced expedite 12 Now from here then, we're going to want to go on top of the crane and to do this you're going to want to go back inside of this dome and then up the ascender rope. And then you're going to want to go all the way to the middle of the crane itself. And inside here is the FJX Imperium. Now from the crane you're going to want to look southwest to the fire station here. And we're going to want to parachute directly on top of it. There is a couple of crates inside of this building. So parachute onto the very top. And you'll see this tower sticking up from the fire station. You're going to want to go inside of this room and look down in the hole in the floor. And inside this hole in the floor, you'll see an explosive barrel. You're going to want to shoot that to open the door. Good move, John. Now from here, jump down all the way to the ground floor. You'll see this glass ceiling. Just jump all the way to the bottom of it. Inside of the hangar, under this tarpaulin, you'll see the snapshot pulse, which you can pick up. And then from here, you're just going to want to go into the side room. And then just to the left here, you'll see the door that we just blew open. And inside this box has the minigun. And then from here, just out the window to the left side, you'll see a radio tower with an ascender rope going all the way to the top. Just ascend all the way up and you'll see the orange box just at the top here. Open it up and that has the KV inhibitor. And then you can parachute off towards the helicopter. And then you'll see this red container on top of this truck. And just behind that, just behind the helicopter, you will see the orange container with the RGL-80 in it. And now you're going to want to look north. And you'll see a dome structure just in front of the helicopter. And then you can climb up to the top using the containers just to the left. So jump on top of these containers here. And then go to the right and then jump up again and you'll see a small orange container just here and that contains the silenced core 45. Now the last one we are back at the RGL just at the rear of this helicopter and we're going to want to head west into this under construction building. You'll see a blue container you can jump on top of and then jump on top of the overhang and inside the very far left window you will see the last orange container for the reactor mission and that has the Saken MG38 inside of it.
That is 29 out of 29, and we can move on to the next mission. Moving on to the next open combat mission, this is Crash Site. Now there's not as many on this one, so we can get this one done quite quickly, and we'll do it all in one loop. So starting from where you spawned, going around to the left hand side, you should be able to see the crate just under this overhang, and this is our first one right here. Inside of here is the Victus XMR. Next up, just moving our way around into the first house here. Our next one is just inside of this back door, and then hug around to the right, inside of this room, there's the cast of 762. Now coming out of the building now, round to the back, you'll see another small orange supply box, and this has the heartbeat sensor inside of it. And then continuing round in this small barn right by the wing of the plane, you'll see another supply box which has a silenced crossbow inside of it. Continuing around now just to literally behind the main bit of the plane, you'll see another weapon box which has a RAL MG inside of it. And then continuing on into the house, just inside of these back windows here is the next supply box with the Lockwood 680 inside of it. Now you're going to want to keep running around, keep doing your loop, and then you'll see another overhang with some fire, and you will see the next box just underneath this overhang here, at the very north of the map. That is the armor box, and you can continue around now to the water tower and the barn, where our next box is. So inside the barn, on the right side, you'll see a sentry gun, but also an orange box. And inside the orange box is a silenced M4. Now coming out the barn, you'll see a building right in front of you, but before we go to that building, just go to the left hand side and go to the roof of it. And on top of that, you will see a silenced SAB-50. Now jump off the roof the exact same way you came up, and you'll see a small barn just in front of you to the east. You'll see another container just sitting underneath a light that has the munitions box. And that, my friends, is every single one of the boxes discovered in Crash Site. 10 out of 10. We can move on. So we're now on the mission Oligarch. We are nearly done. Only two more after this one. And we are at where you spawn on the left hand side pier. And as soon as you come off the pier onto the beach, you're going to want to make your way left, all the way left, and you'll see a small cave embedded into the cliff face here. So it gets a bit dark, but you're going to want to swim through. And you're going to want to pick up that ascender and continue straight from that ascender. And then you'll see an ascend rope that takes you up high into the second part of the cave and you'll see a, our first orange box which has the explosive cat AMR a brand new sniper rifle which looks absolutely amazing now that one's out of the way we can move back down towards the beach and work our way from the beach upwards so you're going to want to make your way down all the way to the cabanas just above the sandy beat of the beach and the far left hand side one has night vision goggles for you to take as well as a small orange supply box with a heartbeat sensor inside of it now we're going to work our way west up the hill again and you'll see this house right by the cliff that we just exited. And you're going to want to get on top of this building here. So to do that, go to the left hand side, you'll see this planter. Jump on top of the planter and then climb on top of the roof. And then you'll see the orange box was silenced DM-56.
Now you can jump down northwest towards the fountain because there'll be a few crates here. One is right by the fountain that has a Cronin Squall in it. And then the next one is just behind that in the communications building. This is the building that you open the bunker in. So you need to come here anyway. So there's the button for the bunker on the right, but to the left is a side room. And inside there, the orange box with the RGL80 in it. And now you can open the bunker if you haven't already. And go down. Just below the building, there's some anti-armor rounds. Right there. And then inside of the bunker itself, as soon as you go in the door to the right side, you can open that up and there's a Pulmer 762. And then from here we can come out of the bunker, work our way up to the radio tower above it, and jump down to the outside bar. Looking towards the bar, do a left and you will see the supply box with the Bryson 800 in it. And then from that box, you're going to want to just jump down towards the east. You'll see another fountain. And by these chairs, two more orange supply boxes with a Bryson 800 and a recon drone inside of it. And then from here, you can make your way over to the right. You'll see another outbuilding. And if you go inside of this building, there is the crate just on the floor there with the silenced M16. From here, you're going to want to break through the window and go back down towards the beach. On the very far left hand side to where you just came from, you will see a crate on the beach itself underneath an umbrella. And inside the crate is an STB-556. And then just behind you, another catwalk, a little pier, and on the boat on the left hand side, you'll see another orange supply box with an MCW 6.8. And then after that, look straight north and you'll see another building. You can get yourself a little wet here and go and climb up the ladder to this building. Enter through this side window here and you'll see a crate right in front of you. And there is an explosive crossbow in there. The last few now, so you can come out to the right side and out this front door and you'll be underneath Malena's mansion. There is an ascender rope just to the left here. You're going to want to ascend your way up and then follow the stairs down to the right. And you're going to want to watch out for traps here. But underneath this little cabana, you will see a silenced M4. And then you can make your way up the stairs, all the way to the top again, and then take a right this time, and continue your way up towards the actual building. And just before you go to the actual mansion, do a right again, and you will see another cabana, and there is another orange box just underneath it. That has a snapshot pulse inside of it, so you can pick that one up as well. And then you can work your way up to the actual mansion. So break through the window on the right side and you'll see a staircase that takes you upstairs. Just work your way upstairs and then straight ahead of you will be a door to the bedroom. And on the left side next to the bed, you'll see a Kimbo 50 GSs. So Kimbo Desert Eagles that are plated in gold for you. And then from here we only need a couple more. So you're going to want to go out onto the balcony, down the stairs, and then all the way across the hallway past the piano and into the gym on the right hand side door and there'll be another container which has a silenced WSP9 and then from here go out the front door and you'll look towards your right and see the garage and then just in the middle of the garage there is another orange crate and inside there is a golden cast of 545 proper blinged out in this mission, and rightly so, she's a billionaire. And then two more to get, so all you need to do is come out of the garage into the main courtyard, and then just looking towards the main fountain you'll see a SUV, and at the base of the SUV 
is another supply box with an armor box inside of it. And then from here, you're going to want to go to the northwest, all the way to the cliff face, and you will see a parachute in a tree. And at the base of the parachute is our last supply box for this mission with a minigun inside of it. High rise now, this is the second to last map on all of the open world combat missions and we are on floor 5. As soon as you get in to this place you're going to want to take a right and then pick up these night vision goggles. You're going to want to turn them on and go through this room. You can go through one of the two doors. If you go through this door straight ahead of you then you just need to climb out the window like that. Disarm any of the traps that you will see and then come into this large open room. There's three different traps in here. All you need to do is make sure all the traps are disabled and then go straight out the door on the opposite side of the room. You'll see a staircase. Take a right and you'll see an orange container at the end of this hallway. And this right here will be your first orange supply box with the silenced tac M. A great weapon for this mission actually, especially if you're progressing up and you don't want a constant wave of Connie forces. So you go back in the way you came now, just go back, make sure you pick up any self revive kits if you do need them and go back through the window back through the door, again more traps to all look out for, and back to the main elevator shaft where you climb up right at the start. From here you take a left and then the first room on your left you're going to want to go inside of it, you'll see the green coloured walls, just go inside and go out on top of the balcony and you'll see your second orange container and there's your snapshot pulse. Make your way through, continue on down the corridor and you'll see a grated door with two orange containers in it. That is the last two on this fifth floor. So you're going to want to go all the way down to the end and then the last door on the right. Just keep going out across on the balcony and then you can make it to this room which has the 50 GS in it as well as the silenced core 45. Now I bet you didn't know that you can go outside on this map. Well you can and it involves you going from the main elevator shaft to your right again through this dark area. Go all the way through once again and you'll encounter the staircase. Rather than turning right, instead you can go up the stairs one and jump out of the balcony here. And then you can jump up this box, jump in this window and then you just need to jump all the way down to the bottom of this staircase. And then just parachute down so you don't die and right at the bottom floor there is a chair that you can shoot, so it opens to the outside world, as well as your orange crate, which has an explosive crossbow in it. Then you can make your way outside, and then into the main compound. In the middle of it, you'll see a small door that's lit up with a light, and then inside there is an Expedite 12. And then continue on under the scaffolding, and then to the right this door will be shut, just open it and you will see your third supply box. And then for your fourth supply box all you need to do is come from this location, do a UE and go back out the door. And then that scaffolding you just went underneath, we again need to climb up it now. So climb up the ladder and then just follow the normal climbing path and then up this second ladder here. And then you're going to want to jump across to this window. And then you will see another staircase that you can jump off of. And there you go once again. Same dealio. you got to shoot that chair to get out again. And then you can open that to get your minigun. Now we're moving up to the seventh floor, so this is the sixth floor, normal progression route. You're going to want to go around. And then up and out of this window. Going up to the seventh floor. Keep and then across to this main area. Now if you take a right, you'll see an empty hollowed out bookshelf and a chair that you need to shoot to get into this next area. That'll open this door for you just around here. And then straight ahead of you is the next container. And then from this crate, the next one on the seventh floor requires a bit of moving around. It's a bit awkward to get to this one, but it's fine. We can still do it. What you're going to need to do from here is go up this elevator shaft here, and now you'll be on the eighth floor. 
but you're going to need to drop back down. So go round to the right. You'll see this dark hallway. You're going to need your night vision goggles again. Mind any of the traps that will be in this room and go out the other side. And then jump over this barricade. Again, there'll be more traps on here. And then make your way down the stairs into this back room here. You'll see it's marked with an X. Then just go round to the left. There'll be a trap there and your supply box, which means you'll get the silence cast of 762. Now we're back at the main part of the seventh floor, right when we entered from the outside. We're going to do the eighth floor now, and it only has one box on it. So you're going to want to jump on top of this bookshelf and up to the eighth like that. And then the door straight ahead of you will have the supply box in it. Just go inside here, all the way around to this back room, and you'll see marked with an X is the supply box. And that has the Vel 46 inside of it. Now moving to the ninth floor from the seventh floor location, just so you know how to get there easier. You're going to want to climb on this construction bit and then climb on that cabinet again to get onto the eighth floor and then take the ladder straight up to the ninth. Now you're going to want to go to the outside, climb up this box and across the scaffolding. And you'll see there's one of the boxes there, but before we get to that one, just jump across and then enter through here, and straight ahead of you will be the Suppressed Striker 9. Then you can pick up a self-revive kit in here as well before jumping back out the window and then get in that box we saw earlier. So you come over here on the scaffolding and make a jump across, and then you can grab yourself the Lab 330. Now we just need to do the 11th floor and the roof. So from this sniper rifle location, you're going to want to jump back across to the scaffolding like that. And then jump up and continue up to the 11th floor. Now turn around and you'll see this great door here with the box in it. To get to that, go outside the window and then jump up on top of this thing just to the left of you. Shoot the chair to open that door. And then you can go back inside. And then that door will now be open. You can just enter there and grab the lovely supply box, which has the RPK inside of it. Now you can continue around through the broken bit of the wall and continue all the way around. Follow the arrows and it will take you out to this container bit on this balcony that's swinging from left to right. Jump across this container. And you can find an ascender here. But you're going to want to move into this main room. You'll see that there is a claymore. Just move into this main room and go to the left hand side. All the way down and the last door on your right. You're going to want to go in and then go into the door on the right. And that will be the Bryson 800 that you can pick up. From here then you're going to want to go back the way you came to the main bit of the 11th floor. Go all the way to the end. And you're going to want to go outside now. Underneath the ladder that you need to climb up to the roof with. And then over these boxes and in this broken window. And then in the room on the left you will see the supply box. Now from the PDSW you're going to want to jump out the window again the way you came. Over these boxes again and back inside. You'll see this door marked with a bunch of arrows, but the door is stuck. You can't open it. There's a chair behind it, so you're going to need to shoot that chair again. So go around to the middle of this floor, go back out to where the container's swinging, and before you go across, you will see a window, and you'll be able to see the chair just through the window there. You're just going to need to shoot that chair, and the door will open. So now you can run back. Go in that door, and then all the way around, you'll see that small supply box, which has the WSP Stinger. Now all you need to do is get to the last two crates on the roof, and they are right next to each other. So climb up the ladder, and climb up the ladder again, and you will see you're getting shot at by Nolan's guards, but just jump down, and then to the right, there is the first box with anti-armor rounds in it. And then just over the other side of the skyhook, you will see the last box, which has the ISO hemlock in it. And that is all 19 on this map, and we can go ahead and move on to the Nora Dam, which is the last mission that we need to do.
Here we go, the last map, Gora Dam, and we are right on top of it still, directly when you spawn. There's 21 items that we need to get in this map, and the first one we're going to do is just go right below us. As you can see there, there's a sniper to the right hand side, you're going to want to just parachute down. And then as soon as you're down, you can take out the sniper. And then from that sniper, just go to the right, all the way to the southwest. And you will see a parachute that's landed on top here with an orange crate on it. And that will get you your Fennec 45. From this crate, we can then go around to our left and follow the side road all the way down. So if we can parachute off of here, go all the way down this side road, you will see this small outbuilding. And then there will be a door on the front of the outbuilding. Just go through here. And then right in front of you will be the large orange box with the RAL MG. And then from here, you can jump out of one of the windows or go back out the door and then head out of the compound itself up the road and you'll see a small path that veers off to the right. Follow this dirt path all the way up and you'll see a tiny green shack. And then on top of that is a parachute and on top of that parachute is the orange box. There's your silent striker. From here then, we can go back into the compound. And you will see a radio tower right in front of you. We're going to need to go towards that radio tower now. You will need an ascender for this one. So just grab an ascender from about the place, or if you've already got one, that's great. And then you can go up the rope all the way to the top of this radio tower. On top of here, like usual, is an orange box. And there's your sniper, the MCPR 300. Now, the large complex down below you has a few weapon crates for us to get. So we're going to just jump down onto the left side of the rooftop. And you can already see from here that there is a weapon crate for us to grab. So right by the ventilation here, open that supply box. And there's your silence 556 Icarus. And now you can move across and over the helipad all the way to the other side of the building and once again on the roof in the corner by the sandbags is a small orange box with a heartbeat sensor inside of it. From here you can jump down and you'll see a door right below you and inside this building there is a crate right in front of you inside of this back room with a snapshot pulse inside of it. And then you're going to want to make your way down the stairs to the ground floor of this generator room. So the staircase is in the far corner. Just go down this stairs here. And then right in front of you should be a few weapon cases. There's three of them right in this small area. There's one with the Expedite 12 in it. There's two with the peeler in it, and there's free with the signal 50. From the signal 50, you're going to want to go back out of the building, so to do that you're going to need to go back up those stairs, and then in the middle of the catwalk that we ran past earlier, there is a staircase that leads up to an open window, and you can jump out of there. And then make your way round to the right underneath this archway and then round to the left and you'll see an open door there will be a few claymores here so just be careful and then all the way at the back you'll see two water containers and behind those water containers will be a weapon crate And there you've got the silenced rival 9. And then from here, go back out the way you came. And then hug the left side. You'll see a ladder and then a sender rope that goes down. Just jump down and you'll see the crate right below you. And there's your anti-armor rounds. And then you're just going to want to follow this road all the way to the other side. 
Once you're at the other side, you will see the car with the bomb in it, and behind that, a lamppost and some wooden boxes. And then behind, right in the corner, you will see the orange crate. Open that up, and there's your KVD enforcer. From here, we're going to make our way south. And we're going to want to follow the road all the way down. and you'll see a substation building in front of you. Below that though is a white truck and inside of that white truck is two more weapon crates. Inside the first one is the RGL and then an armor box in the second one. From here you can ascend up on top of the substation and then there'll be one more weapon box right in front of you and that has a silenced M16 in it. Then from here, just jump off of the south side of the building and go past the pipes outside of the compound and then do a left. You'll see an outbuilding and inside this outbuilding another two containers, one with a recon drone and the other with a MTZ-556. And then you can go back in underneath the pipes and then on the left side you'll see another outbuilding and that has another weapon crate inside and that has a munitions box for you. Then you can make your way across the bridge. You will see a vehicle with a sentry gun on top of it. This will be guarding one of the bomb sites. So you can take out the sentry gun just so it doesn't shoot you while you're picking up the crate and then you can grab the Holger 26. And now we only need one more and that one is just up to our northwest. So go up the road, continue on and you will see a small building to the left hand side. This two story building is quite easy to get on top of. You'll see an outside staircase. Just go up those stairs and then through the door and then through to the back room and out the other door and then you can climb on top of the boxes and then climb on top of the roof and you'll see the last weapon box and that'll have the EBR-14 in it and there's your achievement for Gearhead getting every single crate unlocked it's been a long one I hope you've stuck around for the video if it did help a like's always appreciated subscribe for more I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching this one appreciate you guys